you all doing welcome back to my channel you probably all guess from the title of this video that this is a big summer haul with product and pieces from ASOS Zara and Revolve I thought I would give like a little bit of a mixture because I was just gonna do a Zara haul and I didn't feel like there was enough summer pieces to share with you guys and I also had some ASOS and Revolve pieces that I was dying to share with you all so I thought I would include it all in one big chunky video also little pre-warning if I get really sweaty it's because it's 33 degrees in my room today it is so warm I'm sure most of you who live in the UK have experienced the warm weather this week it is boiling so if I start getting really sweaty that is why I may have to pause in between but I chose to film on the hottest day in the world and I go away tomorrow so it's the only day I can do it so it's all my fault but I guess it's really appropriate because this is all summer pieces that are perfect for this kind of weather for holidays for like any little vacations you have coming up whether it's UK based or going worldwide that kind of thing dependent on obviously what's allowed at the moment I'm not really sure where in the world anyone can go but anyway I want to share these pieces and also give like a little insight into how I would style them and also some of the pieces how I would take them into autumn and winter I've been getting a lot of questions about autumn styling and transitional styling for like summer pieces right now and I'm like I don't want to think about autumn or winter but I do know that it is obviously around the corner and the weather's constantly changing in the UK so the rain is apparently coming so I'm gonna talk you guys through these pieces and how I would style them as well going into autumn and winter. So first up, if you follow me over on Instagram, you would have seen both of the first two pieces and sets, which are honestly my go-to right now. I have been wearing them continuously. I am obsessed with these sets from Zara. They are this really nice like satiny silk material, really floaty, really easy to wear, really cool. I have been living in the black one because I just feel like it's something really easy to chuck on and style up and down. I've been mainly wearing it with like slip on sandals and then just heading down the beach and just being so comfortable which is like my go-to of every outfit as long as it's comfy I absolutely love it and I just think these are gorgeous I love this kind of black shade because I feel like it's great for moving into autumnal months and styling with my Doc Martin boots and then maybe a leather jacket over my shoulders and also a hat I got these really gorgeous hats gifted from Lulu Loves and she just designs and does personalization designs on them if you fancy and I just love these kind of tailored hats going into autumn and that kind of thing she does lots of different colors as well so I went for the black and then I also went for the navy as well because I've never had a navy hat and I feel like for autumn styling this would be really lovely and also with summer styling this goes really nicely with like blue florals and creams as well so in autumn I probably style it with that hat some chunky boots and then also the set with maybe like a little blazer thrown over my shoulders or a fake leather jacket and that kind of thing so I feel like this is also another piece that can easily be styled for the first little bit of autumn depending on how cold you are and obviously having our legs out still but I'm one of those people that I feel like I'm very hot blooded I get hot all the time if it's like above 15 degrees I am sweating so <laughs> that is probably why I'll be wearing that for quite a while through autumn and I just think it's such a comfy easy to style outfit which takes me on to number two outfit to share with you guys this stunning fuchsia pink version of the black set and I think I'm in love with this color more than the black just because I absolutely adore this kind of fuchsia pink I think it's beautiful for summer I feel like this really complements all different hair types and I just really love the colour, I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. I started this with my espadrille cream heels and then my cream accessories because this is just dressing up a little bit, but I would also style this down with chunky trainers, just something easy, slip on converse, anything like that. It's a really nice piece to kind of dress up and down depending on what you're doing and what you're up to and that kind of thing. This also comes in a royal blue, so I will try and find that to link down below because I don't know what it is about the Zara website, but I really struggle to find my way around and Finding the shirts was really easy and then finding the matching shorts that were in the image took me about an hour to try and find them on the website But 
managed to get there in the end so I will try and leave them all down below and size wise I went for smalls in the top and extra smalls in the shorts and I am five foot two and a size like six usually anyway I always find with Zara bot like skirts and shorts that they can sometimes come up slightly big because they always have like a lot of stretch and especially with these shorts they've got a really nice elasticated stretch to them so I would just kind of stick for your normal size or if you feel like you have in the past tried on Zara pieces and you know that they come up too big then just size down in the shorts as well but I went for a small in the top because they are fitted to be quite floaty anyway although little tip I know I'm talking about these a lot but little tip about them is that I washed the black one and I think I did it on a bit of a too hot wash because it feels slightly smaller than the pink one so just a heads up maybe hand wash them <laughs> it could be because there's wrinkles in it because I've just washed it but I don't know but that is my yeah tips on them and I just really love them and I also think the royal blue is absolutely gorgeous moving on to the next Zara item this stunning linen kind of like the best way to describe it soft satiny blazer and short combo i've been really loving the co-ords on zara at the moment which you can probably tell in this video in a minute as well because there's another one to share with you all but i loved this kind of like sagey light limey greeny color i feel like this is such a gorgeous color for summer styling but then also taking into like the autumn and winter months this blazer is just a really nice combo i feel like with a white shirt for evenings just to kind of add a bit of color and then perhaps with like some white jeans and some little wraparound heels and that kind of thing if it's more dressy evenings in the future or then dressing down with trainers and even just a pair of white denim shorts and that kind of thing if we're sticking with like the summer months but this is just really soft really gorgeous material again for like holidays or any vacations this is a really lovely thing just to throw on I feel like it can work in both ways of kind of dressing up and styling it more tailored and then dressing down and just chucking it on over a bikini at the beach as well and like that kind of thing so really love the color of this love the material I did go what size did I go for an extra small small because it is already an oversized style design which I always kind of draw myself towards those pieces anyway because I love the fit of kind of like an oversized fit with pieces so that already is an oversized blazer style and then the little cute shorts which again are really cute to kind of chuck on when you're on holiday or if you're just hanging out around the house as well I feel like these are really nice little pieces to kind of chuck on I've been living in them as I've been decorating my bedroom and they're just really cool and easy to wear next up another piece which was featured over on my instagram this amazing shirt i absolutely love this this is also an oversized fit design shirt however i tried this on in a size medium originally and the medium was still that really nice kind of like shirt dress style oversized fit from the design anyway but then when i went back in to purchase it in store they only had an extra large so i'm actually wearing an extra large in this video so i feel like it's one of those pieces that i'd recommend recommend trying on which obviously we can't do in store at the moment but if you do like it maybe just ordering in like two sizes to kind of see what works for you because I found the medium was fine oversized as a dress style and then also the extra larges as well it just kind of adds that bit more kind of like balloon sleeved and fit of the dress as well I mean it is more of a shirt I feel like it's meant to be styled as a shirt but I like it as a dress and I just started it with my little white frilly shorts underneath or you could do it with cycling shorts and then trainers it's just really comfy and airy and it's also not too thick so it's perfect for this weather that we're having and it's also something that I feel like would look really really cool in the future for like winter months with some black jeans and some chunky boots or even some blue like straight leg jeans that are rolled at the bottom with some trainers just to kind of add that kind of oversized look and then have a blazer chucked on or a fake leather jacket over my shoulders so it's something that again I can add a bit of colour into my autumn and winter wardrobe which I'm always looking to do because I want these pieces to kind of last me throughout the months and I don't just want them for summer so really really love that one I really like the detailing on the side as well I like that you can kind of launch this up if you want if you don't want it as a dress and you'd prefer it as a shirt but just love a bit of pink so always drawn towards it <laughs> up this really cute cold again from Zara I thought this was stunning I feel like it's something that on their website because it's the TRF range which is I think it's meant to be more of like a junior range for Zara or the G 
cheaper range. I'm not really sure what the TR TRF stands for, but this was in the range there. So it was actually a really affordable cord for the way it looks. I feel like it looks quite premium, something that kind of reminds me of Revolve style pieces, which obviously in the higher price range anyway. And I just wanted something that was quite comfy, but also has a bit more of like a glam aspect to it that allows me to kind of dress it up with espadrilles and a hat and can be styled down with slip on white sandals as well for the beach. And I was pleasantly surprised when this arrived because it's a lot nicer material than I expected it to be. I thought it was going to be more of that like structured sheer kind of material and it's a really nice soft cotton. So the shorts alone I've been wearing just with like a little bikini top and a shirt to the beach because they're just super easy to chuck on and really floaty and airy. And I also love the top. I feel like this is gorgeous. And for styling going into like autumn months, I would probably not be wearing the shorts because I wouldn't have my legs out in little shorts like that when it's cold and whatnot in the UK. But the top half I feel like would look lovely with some blue jeans, some white wraparound heels, or even going with like black straight leg jeans with a little black court heel, going for a red lipstick, a little black clutch, and then having the top as like the statement piece of an outfit. So this is something that can definitely be dressed up and down dependent on the occasion and just adds a bit of something something because anything with ruffles I feel like really adds to a look so absolutely adore that love the little like embroidery style of it and just feel like it's very bohemian summer chic look which I think is gorgeous next up moving on to the ASOS pieces so starting with this cute cord like cardi and cami combo this is a knit combo so something that while I was filming this, I was absolutely boiling because it's a little bit too hot for the weather at the moment, but styling with shorts, I did wear this last week when it was a little bit cooler and it's a really nice kind of combo to have that really nice yellow, pale yellow cami and then also have the cardigan as an option to kind of chock on if it gets a bit more chilly or there's a wind <laughs> and that kind of thing. But I just think these combos that ASOS are doing are so sweet. I really hope it's still in stock because they do so many cute kind of cami and cardi combos so you can get them together or style them separately which I really like because I feel like it gives you an option to either style them together or not so like going into autumn and things like that the cardigan is a really thick warm material anyway so I feel like these just styled up with jeans instead of shorts keeping the converse and having it as more of like a dress down hanging around town cute little top and jean combo or moving into like very very winter and kind of styling with like an oversized blazer over the top or a bomber and having that as like underneath legs Layers because I feel like this is something that will keep us all very warm and it's also just very very cute and I just love it also something I probably style with like slouchy blue jeans I feel like slouchy blue jeans and pale yellow kind of go really nice color combo wise so that's another piece from ASOS that I'm just really loving and it's just a really nice material and really soft. Next up from ASOS, this is again a piece that could be styled throughout the year and is something that I feel like is needed in everyone's wardrobe, a fake leather jacket. It's just something that is always really easy to style up and down. I had a fake leather jacket but I grew out of it. I don't know why I went for like the smallest size a few years ago of a fake leather jacket because now I am always kind of going for those oversized designed fake leather jackets. I feel like they're really really easy then to kind of style with hoodies going into colder months and having them under the fake leather jacket or just having as a jacket to have for a night out. They're just so easy. I feel like it's easy to kind of hold it on your arm if it's too hot but also have as like a little cover up and also to kind of like make a look more like street style and then have a bit more of like a grungy kind of cool look aspect to it is a way of kind of dressing shorts and cute tees and then styling with like converse and that kind of thing or with the hat as well. I just really love a fake leather jacket and I was sad that I grew out of my other one but I really love the shape of this, really love the kind of oversized design fit. I feel like it's really nice for styling throughout the year. Next up for ASOS dresses, so the next four looks are four ASOS dresses I feel like like a perfect for summer not so much winter but I will kind of share how I may style them at the start of autumn as well this dress here is a dress that actually really reminded me of a revolve dress that I received recently which I will leave a picture on of the screen here I feel like this dress looks way more expensive than it actually is and it's also just such a sweet shape and like milk y style which I really like with white dresses I feel like it's very cutesy and easy to kind of dress up and be quite girly or dress down with trainers kind of go 
go for coffee or brunch as well and with this dress I would mention as well that the skirt has an extra layer so it's not see-through at all I was wearing black underwear so a bit of TMI but just so you know you can't see my pants because of the extra layer there but the top is a bit more sheer so I usually style this with my like lace white bralette or just my strapless bra like I've done here which you can kind of see a little bit but I feel like that doesn't really matter when it's summer styling and summer wear because it's something that I would wear when it's really warm and I'm kind of going for a brunch or heading down the beach as it's quite a cool dress it's like a really nice like soft linen and I really love how these feel on as well because they're just really comfortable and easy to wear and I think the little raunch sleeves are so cute they add that like little extra detailing which is lovely so the next two dresses are smock star dresses. I am all for smock star dresses, especially in this heat. I feel like they are so easy to chuck on, chuck on a pair of trainers, go run some errands, go shopping in town, whatever it may be. It's just such a cool, floaty, easy dress to wear. I also find them perfect for when, if you're traveling in the future, just kind of having, if you're getting on a boat that day or you're getting on a plane or in a car and you just want to be cool and comfortable, dresses like this are just perfect for that. And I know when I was in IB, that I was wearing these dresses in the day continuously when I was going to like little calves or we were going for brunch and it was just so hot and I was very hungover and I just needed to be comfortable and cool. These are like the dresses for that. So starting with this really cute little like rose design, I am loving florals and I just thought this was really cute and easy to kind of style with white chunky trainers and just kind of have as like a floaty summer dress. And then moving on to the next one, I think out of the two, this one is probably my favorite. I I just really like the stripe detailing and it has this gorgeous white embroidery across the front which I think is a really nice detail. Something that's really nice about both of the dresses as well, they have very different sleeves and I really liked how the first one had the sleeves that kind of pleat at the bottom so they add that really nice kind of like floaty out detail but it's quite subtle so it's not too much and then the second one just has a really nice floaty sleeves I feel like they're quite flattering and it just adds a little something to the smock dress as well which I think is quite cute. Next one is actually probably one of the most beautiful dresses I own. I think this is absolutely stunning. Might be a bit overboard for me to say that, but I think it's gorgeous. I love the little embroidery. There's some daisies and little red flowers, which I just think are gorgeous. I think the sleeves are stunning. All that kind of like embroidery detail and patterns of it, like really, really complement the cream and the colors. And I just think this is so cute to kind of dress up with espadrille sandals or dress down with trainers or slip on sandals and then going into like the autumn months I really don't want to not stop wearing this because it's just so comfortable and easy to wear so I probably dress down a little bit with chunky boots like black boots and then also have like a black blazer over my shoulders and see how long I can be bare legged for while I wear it <laughs> moving into the colder months but I just think it's gorgeous it's such a nice piece so fingers crossed it is still in stock because that is about a week and a half ago that I got that one so fingers crossed but they are all the ASOS pieces that I'm really loving they are just really nice pieces I feel like to style loads of different ways and if you have any questions about any of them as always just let me know and I'm happy to kind of share other ways that I'd style them or size tips and that kind of thing. Now for the last three pieces, these are Revolve pieces. So moving into like the higher price range because Revolve is obviously designer pieces that are a little bit more expensive, but the quality of them I find is gorgeous. And I always fall in love with the Tula Rosa and Majorelli dresses. I hope I'm pronouncing those designer names correct because I am in love with their pieces. I had one other dress from both of those designers over last year and I still wear them all the time because they are just gorgeous and they last such a long time. The quality is stunning. So first up, a little blue dress. Again, these are pieces that are more for summer and holidays and vacations, but also I feel like for weddings in the future it would be really lovely as like wedding guest ideas and having dresses for that. So this is something I would definitely wear to a wedding as a wedding guest and also something I'm very excited to hopefully, fingers crossed, take on my holiday in October. We shall see. Obviously I'm not keeping my hopes up, but I would love to wear this on holiday and for dinners and that kind of thing. I think it's really, really beautiful. I love the blues, I love the ruffles, I just think it's stunning and it just feels amazing on. I think of all these Revolve pieces, they all feel so gorgeous and I'm just obsessed. <laughs> so moving on to the next one, this one I just love the embroidery again. I think I'm really drawn to these little embroidery details and pieces on dresses at the moment and I thought this was gorgeous. I love ruffles, I think 
most of you girls and guys would know that if you watch my videos but I really really love ruffle detailing and I like how this dress kind of allows it to be very fitted by tying the waist and then also very floaty and adding that kind of bit more detailing on the dress to make it a bit more like tailored to float out if that makes sense but yeah I just love this because I really love the embroidery like red and cream detailing as well and then lastly to show with you guys the dress that I'm currently wearing I was umming and ahhing about this because I was like is it gonna look really weird on like am I gonna look too barbie in it or is it gonna be really nice and something that I can style like for hanging out on the beach and then easily dress up because the material is super super floaty but I absolutely love it which is why I'm wearing it today <laughs> but I just thought this was gorgeous something a bit different I'm loving tie-dye at the moment I think it's very in trend and I thought the details of this like the little tassel tie waist with like this it's like really reminds me of like hanging out at the beach and something that's quite easy to kind of chuck on when you come out the sea going into a restaurant restaurant for lunch I always find that that's something that I get asked a lot with like summer vacations how do we go from how do I start from going from like straight to the beach to a restaurant and usually I just get something that's easy to chuck on and cover up and something that's comfortable because usually when you're on holiday when it's hot it's nice to put something on quite floaty and a material that's really comfortable so this is exactly that I just love how soft it is and I really like the open detail back and hold to neck as well which you can actually make this bit tighter so you can actually style this so that it's closer together or have more as a square neck you can really kind of decide how you want to wear it which I think is really really lovely so that is the last piece that I'm absolutely loving as you can tell I loved everything in that and I mean that's the reason I wanted to share them with you guys because I think just all these pieces are really lovely and brands that I really love at the moment and I'm finding a lot of really nice kind of pieces to style loads of different ways so I will be doing more styling over my Instagram and that kind of thing so if you fancy seeing more ways that I style these then that will be all linked down below but I hope you guys are well and having a lovely day whatever you're up to and whenever you're watching this again thank you so much for watching and supporting me it honestly means the world and if there's anything you want to see from me then please just let me know and I I will see you all in next Sunday's video. I believe it's going to be a little Edinburgh trip vlog. I don't know how much will be in it. I don't know what it's going to be like, but I'm excited to do a bit more of like travel vlogging again. Even though it's a small trip, I have missed doing that so, so much. And obviously with everything going on, it's going to be interesting to see what kind of traveling is like and that kind of thing. So I'm going to take you along and share that with you guys next Sunday. But I'm wishing you all a lovely rest of your week, whenever that may be, and sending lots of love. See you guys later. Lots of love. Bye.